Hello world, I'm Don Juan and I'm reporting today about that storm, Sandy. Sandy's very destructive, ladies and gentlemen. I'm reporting live from Atlanta, Georgia, and we have heavy winds out here and a lot of power outages, but that's nothing compared to what you guys been going through over there on the East Coast. First of all, I'd like to send my prayers out to each and every place that's been hit by this sandy storm because it's very destructive. It's been doing mad damage, power outages, heavy flooded and all that stuff. I like to send my prayers to each and every spot that it hits. But I specifically want to talk about Coney Island. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen. Coney Island has been hit hard. And um, from my understanding and the pictures that I've been getting showed to on uh, Facebook and Instagram, things like that, is very serious. And I've been watching CNN throughout the whole storm and I haven't heard a lick about Coney Island. I don't know if they go by the measure of damage or which uh, area that they show, but I don't know, I, I'm not buying that because from what I see, you know, everybody's showing me pictures, it's, it's heavy out there in Coney Island and um, for some reason, they never get no uh, broadcast about what's going on. Thank God for all the people out there with their cameras and um, Facebook and Instagram and things like that I, and, and telephone calls and texting, I have a little insight of what's going on out there. And um, let me make one thing clear for everybody out there in Coney Allen. Now, when they say Coney Allen, you know what they mean, right? They mean from Stillwell Avenue to Brighton Beach. Yes, sir. From Stillwell Avenue to Brighton Beach. Okay, wait a minute. Excuse me. I might be wrong. They might have extended it a little bit. They might have extended it to the baseball field that they just built out there. From there to Brighton Beach. They said they consider that Coney Allen. I have been to a lot of uh, council meetings, uh, precinct meetings and things of that nature. And that's what they consider Coney Island. When they say you put more police and more garbage cans in Coney Island, that's what they're talking about from the baseball field all the way to Brighton. They're not talking about from Stillwell to 37th Street. And, and you know that is Coney Island. <laughs> yes, sir. Don't get it twisted. But in any event, all my people out there going through this storm right now, I need you guys to pull together. This is a tough time for you guys out right now. And um, so far, you guys been handling it big time. I've been hearing about no fatalities. That's one good thing. But I'm challenging all the fellas out there, all the brothers and all the young brothers to get out there and help everybody who needs help, especially the elderly, because it happened on a weekday. And if you know, like I know, on the weekdays, a lot of elderly people be going to the doctors, doing their daily uh, checkups and things like that. They need their medication and things like that. And right now they can't get that. So I'm challenging all you brothers out there to uh, go out there and try to um, find out who needs medication, make that store, that, that, that run to the store for them. And not only the elderly needs help at this, there's mothers and stuff out there with kids and stuff that need milk and things like that. Because right now, stuff is going to start getting scarce right now. Because the aftermath, it, it might be more uh, devastating than the actual flood itself. So so if you guys are uh, able to walk and get around somebody's car, truck is running, get out there and make store runs for everybody in the neighborhood. Get on the phone, make calls and things like that. Just like when somebody gets shot out there, I mean, world travels just like that. 0.2 seconds. So if somebody needs something like some medication or kids need milk or a little bit of food or somebody needs food, let that information travel just like when somebody gets shot. Please work with me on that note. Yes, it's a very devastating situation and we all need to pull together. Coney Island is not a community, ladies and gentlemen. Coney Island is a family. For everybody out looking in, I just want to let that be known. And everybody in looking out, you already know what it is. And another thing I want to put out there. Um, don't use your cell phones just to be on, on the phone, just BSing. Please reserve your energy for, you know, emergencies and things like that because the subways is down, the buses is down. Yo, it's serious. And you know, if transit go down, you know it's serious because transit don't go down. For I used to work, drive the bus out there, so I know. They do not stop service no matter what. But guess what? This is that matter of what. So right now we got to pull together. And for all you guys out there who um your car's running because from one of the pictures I've been seeing, it looks like it's going to be a lot of car damage and stuff out there in Coney Island. If your car is running and it's good, I, I would like for you guys to get on Facebook, Instagram, text people and everybody and let everybody know that your car is up and running and you should uh, charge people's phones up. People's phone is dead. They need phone, uh, their phones charged because there's a lot of uh, power out. Get on Facebook, text them, whatever you got to do. Let them know that you're on such and such block. And um, if anybody need their phone charged, you can come and, you know, put it into my car. I'm sitting out there. I'm charging people's phones up. And you'd be surprised of the little things that, that has a big impact for, you know, Coney Island and for little areas like that. That's not really considered to be on the map. because. And when I say not considered to be on the map, because I haven't seen nothing on CNN yet. I mean, if I was to just watch CNN, I wouldn't even know that Coney Island got hit as bad as it got hit. Okay? And that's real talk right there. So 
like once again, I like to say, I want to thank everybody for hitting me up. The pictures that have been on Instagram, Facebook, and things like that. And it's, it's, it's been a big help and it's been, you know, kind of soothing to me because I'm hurting. I'm going through it just like y'all going through it out there. And it hurts me bad because I'm out here. I can't do nothing about it. But what I can do is I could bro make broadcasts like this and try to be a little informed to what's going on. And I don't know if News 12 or the local uh, stations out there is uh, giving you guys an insight of what's going on with Coney Allen. But so far, I didn't hear nothing like that. But all you good people out there, you know what I'm saying? Hey, pull together. Coney Allen, I love you. And I know we're going to get through this together. And this is a time that we need each other. So stay strong. And Don Juan, and I'm gone. Until the next time. Y'all be tight, man. Much love, man.